Trying to pass the PE exam can be a brutal process and it can really wear you down. In this video, I'm going to share with you how a sticky note, that's right, a sticky note inspired me and kept me inspired through six to nine months of studying for the PE exam. This video is brought to you by our sponsor, PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the PE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for PE exam prep. Let's dive in. The preparation process for the PE exam is brutal and it can wear you down. I recommend that you plan to study for six to nine months leading up to the exam and you're gonna do hundreds of practice problems. You're also gonna to have to learn materials that one, you either don't remember because it was so long ago that you learned them in school or number two, you've never learned them before. They might be in a discipline that you're not familiar with. So what I did to combat this was something that was very simple because basically what happened for me was I started losing interest. I started losing motivation. And then one time someone who I worked with said something to me that really stuck. They said, listen, I know it's tough preparing for this exam, but once you pass this exam, you're a licensed professional engineer. You can put PE after your name and no one can ever take that away from you for the rest of your career. And it's going to have tons of benefits for you at every level of the career ladder. So that made me do something to keep me inspired. This is what I did. I wrote on a sticky note, Anthony Fasano PE. I put that PE after my name and I stuck the sticky note at the top of my monitor. So every day I came to work from eight o'clock to 5 p.m. or later and I was staring at Anthony Fasano PE and I stared at it every day. And all I kept saying to myself is, if I stop studying, if I slow down, I'm not going to get the PE after my name. And I remembered all of the benefits that that colleague shared with me that I can earn from having a PE, like a promotion, like a salary increase, like more responsibilities, like becoming more of a leader in the firm or a project manager or things that weren't attainable without it. And it's one of those things that it takes time and it takes effort, but it's a game changer in your career. And I know it's a silly thing, just a simple sticky note, but I put that on my monitor and every day it energized me. And it kept me inspired and it kept me focused. And so that's one thing that you can do. Another thing that can help you in terms of outside motivation or accountability is to tell people that you're taking the exam and tell them when you're taking it. This is another thing that I did. I sent an email to my boss and a couple of my colleagues on my team and I told them, hey, I'm excited. I registered for the exam. This is the day I'm going to need to take off that day and I'll be preparing between now and then. And they saw me studying and they would keep asking me, oh, the exam's coming up. How's it going? How are things going? But I think for me, people knowing that I was studying, I didn't want to let them down, right? Because I knew that me getting my engineering license was going to help our company, help our team, right? Make us more impressive to our clients. There were so many positive benefits to the company that by letting them know, they were kind of like anticipating that I was going to pass. So I really, really couldn't let them down. So that was a huge, huge driver for me and it really, really held me accountable on my studying habits. And that's something that cannot be understated. The final thing that I'll say that had a huge impression on me, and this is actually after I passed my exam and I received my license was the CEO of the consulting firm that I worked for at the time, he had a practice and he would take all of the newly licensed professional engineers out to lunch. You know, every time there was a new crop of licensed professional engineers. And I knew that before I took the exam. 
And that also motivated me. I mean, I was a young engineer. I wanted to become a partner in this firm. And I wanted the chance to sit down with the CEO at lunch and just talk to him, learn from him, ask him questions about his career. And sure enough, I passed the exam. He took us out to lunch. It was a group of maybe four or five of us. We had a really great lunch with him. He gave us career advice. He talked to us about how the company was going to support us in our careers. And this was the first step in that process. And I never forgot that to this day. And that was 20 years ago at this point. And I say that because for those of you out there that will pass your PE and will go on into leadership positions in your company, think about ways that you can inspire, encourage, promote, and support other engineering professionals within your organization to get their license. Because it is a process where you need support. And it's something that if you support someone or if you don't, it can really change the outcome of the process for them. So I hope this video is helpful. I know when you think about a sticky note, you might laugh at it, but for me, it provided so much motivation seeing PE after my name and wanting to make that a reality. The idea of accountability by telling my boss and colleagues the exact day I was taking the exam was a driver for me. And then knowing that I was gonna to get to sit down with the CEO of my company if I passed this exam was almost just as important to me as getting those letters after my name. I hope you found this video helpful. We have a lot of videos here on Pass the PE Exam to help you pass the exam. I'll also tell you, please put questions, comments below this video. I will read every one of them and we'll try to create answers in videos for you to help you in whatever you're challenged with in trying to prepare and pass the PE Exam. I hope I see you next week on Pass the PE Exam.